Hi learners! In this video, we will be learning about the focus group method of data collection. Focus groups are generally used to collect data on specific topics and data is collected through a semi-structured group interview process. The focus groups are moderated by a group leader. The focus group method is a form of group interview that observes the following conditions. The conditions are, there are several participants in addition to the moderator or the facilitator. There is an emphasis on the questioning on a fairly tightly defined topic. The next is, accent is based on interaction within the group and the joint construction of meaning. The focus group method appends to the focused interview the element of interaction within the group as an area of interest and is more focused than group interview. The uses of the focus method are it is used to examine the ways in which people in conjunction with one another construct the general topic in which the researcher is interested. It allows the researcher to develop an understanding about why people feel the way they do, that is, probe each other's reasons for holding a certain view, listening to others' answers and changing their views. The participants are able to bring forth the issues as the moderator relinquishes a certain amount of control. Let's now discuss the process of the focus group method. The first is, the purpose of the research is briefly explained. Then, the reasons for recording are conveyed. Conventions like one person will speak at a time, confidentiality, everyone's views are important, amount of time are taken into consideration. Introduction, that is, the basic information of group members is given. Then, the participants discuss the topic among themselves. The last is closing and thanks that includes a discussion of how data supplied will be handled. After discussing the methods of primary data collection, let's now discuss the methods of secondary data collection. Secondary data may be collected through various sources as discussed below. The first is company records like balance sheets, profit and loss accounts, sales figures, etc. Data is generally used for prediction purpose. The second is the Internet. The Internet is a rich source of data. There are many specialized websites which offer data for research purpose. Next is the print media. The print media includes journals, newspapers, magazines, etc. It offers the information that is published. The next is the census and the other government records. Census is a rich source of data. In India, data on population is collected on every 10 years using census methods. There are other departments of government which publish data on a regular basis. So learners, this was all about methods of data collection. Thank you.